All right, so listen, I'm not gonna lie, man. When I first heard that they were coming out with a new Equalizer series and I heard that Queen Latifah was gonna be playing the Equalizer, I thought, man, there's no way she can pull this off. She can't walk in the shoes of Edward Woodward. That is the original Equalizer from the 80s series. For those of you all to know, I know because I'm old. And she definitely can't walk in the shoes of Denzel Washington. She cannot pull this off. I was wrong. She was pretty good in this. I am impressed. Man, this show works. I was I was entertained all the way through. I was impressed by a lot of stuff in this, man. Let me tell you, this show is pretty good. And I feel like this series actually might have some legs. I feel like this series could have some longevity. I thought that the story build was good, very reminiscent of what we know from the Equalizer in the movies and the TV show series. The setup is pretty formulaic, right? Someone needs help, they call the Equalizer. The Equalizer helps. All that stuff was really good. I think that one of the main reasons that this show works is that it follows the traditional beats or what we know to be important elements of what the Equalizer show is. It doesn't vary from that. And I was a little bit worried about that when I saw the trailers from this because I was wondering how much of a new direction they were going to try and take this and I know that there are some people some female actresses that are very happy to see Queen Latifah in this role and I'm going to tell you I didn't think she could pull it off but the performances in this are fantastic I think that her performances in this are actually nuanced enough for me to really see her as the new equalizer they call her Robin McCall in this show and the setup is pretty basic there's a girl who needs help she's gotten it mixed up in some stuff she doesn't know where to turn the equalizer comes and helps her and bam that is pretty much the gist of what goes on in this show but we also get the construction or the building of her team in this show as well so now we have some idea of who's going to be helping helping her as she assists the downtrodden throughout this show. I thought that the performances were good from everybody. I thought the pacing of the show was good. I thought the writing was good. I thought almost every element of the show, I was, I was, I was surprised, man. I mean, I'm telling you, because I'm sitting there looking at this, I'm smiling, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this is actually good. I think the show was really good. There were some things I do think that need a little bit of work in the show. I don't like the musical element. We saw some of this in the Equalizer movies. Um, when we get to certain parts of the show, they might play a song or they might play this or whatever. I'm not talking about the sound design. I'm literally talking about the musical element of this show. I don't think it works. I don't think we need it. Now, for me, some of that comes from being used to seeing the Equalizer from the 80s where we didn't have that as part of the show. I don't think that adds anything to the show. It doesn't give it an extra immersion value to me at all. It just kind of is there and it doesn't need to be. So I wasn't a big fan of how they use the music in the show. I wasn't a big fan of the, of the fight choreography. Although, listen, man, I mean, clearly Latifah is not doing that stuff herself, and no one's surprised about that. I don't think anybody expected to see kind of like a Halle, Barris, Barris, um, Halle Berry performance from John Wick. So, from that aspect, it was okay, but I'm not a... I, I, Listen, if, you, if you're new here, what you should know about me is I like really good fight choreography. I like long shots or long medium to long shots i like consistent camera tracking of it when i get a whole bunch of jump cuts and all that kind of stuff i know that they're masking the actor's ability to be able to perform these stunts on their own and they've got a stunt double in there doing that and that's what we get a lot of in this episode but all in all it was still very enjoyable i think that she embodied the robert mccall or robin mccall as we know her really well i feel like she really picks up the beat as the equalizer really well and i was like i can't believe i'm saying this but I, I, I see it. I see it. I see her as the Equalizer. I was impressed by the Equalizer. Not sure if you guys stayed up to watch it or not. It did air after the Super Bowl. But I would love to know what you think about it. Were you impressed? Were you shocked? Were you surprised? Did you think it was going to come out as well as it did? Did you like it? Maybe you hated it. I don't know because I thought I would hate it, especially when I saw the trailers. I was like, this is going to be some trash. But actually, it was pretty good. I'm impressed. So I think a lot of things in this show work because it does track the feel and the tone of the equalizer of what we're used to. And I think a lot of us picked on that. I picked up on that. I feel like it resonated with a lot of us. I know it resonated with me as a fan of both the series and the movies. I'm impressed. What do you think about the Equalizer? Let me know in the comments below. If you are watching this on Facebook, thank you for joining us. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you go to the next video and I'll meet you there. Peace.